Hello everyone, welcome to Screencast SC10060. In today's screencast, we are going to be creating captive portal policies. Captive portal is uh, the authentication method used for guest access. So let's get started. In a captive portal policy, we define a hosting server. The hosting server hosts the web page to which the user gets redirected. The other main parameter that's defined in the uh, captive portal policy is the authentication server, which authenticates clients based on the username and password. Once authent authenticated, the client can then gain access to the network. Based on the topology uh, defined in screencast SC10000, we have a guest VLAN 8. The uh, guest VLAN 8 has an IP address of 192.168.8.100. Any client that uh, guest client that connects to the access point is redirected to the web page hosted by the RF switch. Hence, our hosting server in this example it will be 192.168.8.100. Once the user uh, puts the username and password on the web page, those credentials are then cross-checked with an external radius server, uh, which is running at 192.168.2.7. Uh, in our example, we will be using uh, the, the policies defined in screencast SC10000 and uh, the AAA policy that's defined in SC10040. I have loaded the config from uh, screencast SC10040 in which we created a AAA policy. To log into the uh, RFS uh, switch, our username is admin and the password was set to symbol. Now to create a captive portal policy, let's navigate to configuration, uh, then to services, click on captive portals and then click on add. Let's uh, give our captive portal policy a name. Let's just call it Moto. Uh, there are three modes for the hosting server. Uh, one is internal, one is centralized and centralized controller. Uh, for today's screencast, we will configure uh, the centralized mode. We will cover the other two uh, modes in a different screencast. Our hosting server is gonna be this RFS 7000 itself where the web page has been hosted. Uh, the IP address is uh, 192.168.8.100. This is the uh, IP address of this RFS switch uh, on VLAN 8. We need to uh, configure a AAA policy as well. Uh, in our previous screencast, SC10040, we created a, a AAA policy called Moto. Uh, this essentially re redirects uh, the, uh, the user to an external radius server. Uh, and we would authenticate all our guest users uh, based on the username and passwords that have been defined in that external radius server. Let's click OK. Let's exit out of here. Let's commit and save our changes. As seen, uh, we now have a captive portal policy uh, defined on the RFS switch. The config file for today's screencast can be downloaded from the link seen on your screen. You should now be able to create a captive portal policy with a centralized controller architecture. Thank you for watching.